Hello. My name is Jesus and I am here today on secret assignment in a Paluvian cloud computing re-education facility to speak with Inuku Rodriguez Kavarkian from Japal Dania who says he has been wrongly re-educated to believe that clouds are the answer to. Well shall we let him tell you why he is here? What shall we call you? Yeah babe. Call me Angel. So Angel, if your name is Inuku Rodriguez Kavarkian and you are a man, why do we call you Angel and why do you look like a hooker? It is my secret virtual cloud identity so that no one knows who I am in the world of cloud computing and in the end I do the same as a hooker anyway so I may as well look like one. What do you mean? Is this cloud a Lucy in the sky with diamonds sort of cloud? No it is a real virtual cloud that no one understands cannot be described and has no real definition or boundaries and it is not in the sky. It is everywhere. Ah yes, so it is a Lucy in the sky with diamonds cloud. No you are wrong. Our clouds have no diamonds but they are filled with pearls of wisdom and the world will change as all of the unstructured data oozes out between the cracks in a global infrastructure. Ah yes of course. What is your nationality Angel and where are you from? I am Japal Danian and I come from Japal Dania. I have not heard of Japal Dania. Where is Japal Dania? Japal Dania is 47 miles off the coast of who gives a toss a stand south near who gives a sheet under a volcano 10 miles under the surface of the virtual Stan Ocean where the Avatars did dope in a sea of real data. Ah yes of course it all makes sense now. You do drugs and believe that there is a cloud that will solve all of the problems of the world and if everyone put their computing in your cloud we will all be saved. No you are wrong. I do not need drugs because I do clouds. When you do clouds everything is virtual and reality becomes clouded just like when a green fairy comes to see you. So why are you here for re-education angel? I started to remember that when I was a hardware salesman who sold computer hardware that they were real but that is all in my past life and I must not remember this because then I really screwed the customer. Now it is a vert all event. Ah yes of course. The drugs make you hallucinate and you thought computers were real. I understand why you need re-education. We can't have you telling people of things that do not exist. I know. But now I believe that all computers are virtual again and I feel like a banged up broad and want to escape to be a cloud computing salesman again and see all of my friends in Japaldania and tell the world that the cloud will save them. How are you re-educated? We hear it is dehumanizing and brainwashing. Yes it is. They make me sit through the very long and boring very technical PowerPoint presentation about clouds that does not address any business needs or any question that clients have that I present to all clients who do not know about clouds because I do not know what I am talking about and Japal Denia we all live in the cloud under the volcano. How long do you have left in re-education? Only 6,486 more PowerPoints to go and I will believe that cloud computing is not only a bookstore application. There are those that say that cloud computing is the hardware manufacturer's response to virtualization that caused less hardware to be purchased so cloud computing is the manufacturer's response to make the world use more hardware again. How do you respond to that? I am a secret Japal Denian hardware manufacturer so I cannot answer that because everything is virtual and we need to make the world see that virtualization is all just a myth put out by software writers because it is not real. Oh I see. So the only way to stop the software companies from taking over the hardware companies any further is to have as much hardware sold as possible and to do that we need to all believe in the cloud. Yes, yes, yes. I think you should stay for some cloudy education as well. Piss off. Want that virtualized?